Welcome to the Royal Road School of Carmelite Prayer. Today we are going to listen to a talk that was given in Brucey, France by a Carmelite friar whose name is Father Marie Pierre. His talk is on Carmelite spirituality and he begins by discussing the defining characteristics of Carmelite prayer. He tells us that there are many schools of prayer in the Catholic tradition. St. Ignatius, St. Benedict, both offered methods of prayer. The Carmel offers a way of prayer. It is a direct path to the heart. What defines the Carmel is the belief that God lives in the heart and that we can reach him there through the theological virtues of faith, hope, and charity that we receive at baptism. A relationship results satisfying a person's thirst to be loved, loved by God. I find him within through faith and love. I have trust in him. It's a leap into the invisible. There are, of course, other forms of prayer, and by other forms is meant adoration, confession, thanksgiving, supplication, vocal, rote, Lectio Divina, meditation, Silent prayer doesn't compete with other forms of prayer. Rather, it's an exchange of friendship with God, and it can be present in other types of prayer. Silent or Carmelite prayer will help us to live other forms of prayer more interiorly. The opposite is also true. Other forms of prayer will help us to enter silent prayer. Teresa recommended to her nuns to find company in prayer in order to transform the loneliness of the meditator into solitude. What better company than Jesus the Master? Carmelite prayer is about being seen by Jesus and looking at him in his humanity with the eyes of your soul. Teresa tells us in her own words, I tried as hard as I could to keep Jesus Christ, our Lord and our God, present within me. And that was my way of prayer. A life of interior prayer must be fed. It continuously sends us back to fraternal communion, the meeting of Christ in the sacraments, in community with the faithful. The goal of regularly cultivated prayer will introduce habitual recollection into our lives. Our prayer leads us into silence, interior silence, like a conquest, like a gift. One day, when it pleases God, silence will overtake our deepest selves. A loving silence is the only language that pleases Him. A silent love, says John of the Cross. The place of unification of my being is within. All aspects of my being must come under the gentle authority of Christ by an act of faith, the gift of the whole self. Carmel always orients us towards God to accept God's proposition of marriage, of union. I am made for this, to become one with God, 
to be transformed by him in love. So then, in conclusion, a life of prayer is a passage into a new life. We stay here for God, not for his consolations. It is good to be together for this practice to encourage one another. It's a new way of being together. Where love is first, we will find a way, says St. Teresa of Avila. Signed, Brother Marie Pierre, Carmelite Friar, France. Amen.